Uh, 41-5 uh, comes out here. Uh, pedigree on the 41s uh, would be uh, dash eight, no huddle. Uh, we've talked about dash eight uh, a couple times uh, within this preview. Uh, this is the third spring in a row that we've had dash eight sired pigs. So we've had five or six crops of, of dash eights. And um, and I think Jim can attest to this, uh, particularly with having a boar stud background. It's not often that you use a boar uh, two or three seasons in a row, let alone four or five seasons in a row. And uh, we've continued to do it and do it for a reason. And, and I think uh, this, this guilt uh, uh, epitomizes the good that comes with dash eight. Uh, she's skinny. Uh, but her look, her bones, uh, her hip and hind leg are, are just tremendously good. Uh, I think this one gets uh, fat and fluffy someday. Uh, the, the ceiling could be very high. And, and again, um, not to get long-winded, but th those no-huddle sows uh, are tremendously good. Um, if you went and walked through the no-huddle sows right now, this one's mom would be absolutely the most impressive one. Uh, as a show guilt, um, uh, Grant showed her there at our youth expo, and she was champion prospect and champion breeding guild is about 150 pounder. So um, her mom's real, real good, and I can see a lot of this one's uh, uh, mom in her. So neat pedigree. Um, I, I think ceiling's high here on this one if she does the right things. Well, there's a lot of variables in this business we don't know about, but one thing I know for absolute for sure, if Will Hilty goes to the well three years in a row, there's a reason. <laughs> and it's not because he can't get semen anywhere else. It's because he knows it's going to work. Well, it worked again. And, uh, again, uh, the fun in the show ring is going to be great. That's gonna, that one's going to have some fun this summer. But, again, the, 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 putting it out in the, that in the sow herd and what, watching what you might be able to accomplish on that one's generating ability could be the very uh, most fun thing about this one. I, I like that one quite a bit. I'd add that one to a sleeper list. Again, I don't know what's coming, but that one is a very good built one. That one will be very fun to feed. Excellent uh, looking one out of her front end. It looks like a lady. The right length of body, her elevation and proportions are right. She's got shape, but it's green. Uh, her flexibility reach and just the way her skeleton's built is, is, is really good. And um, Again, just take care of that one and feed her cre as creatively as you want to because that one's got the feet and legs and the immaturity to, to do it. Uh, watch out for that one and, and, and get that one and, and try to come back next year. Breed that one to the right board, and, and that one's going to be very fun in the sour. That's 41-5 gill. Or if when you're done showing her, you don't want to breed her, call me, <laughs> and I'd be interested. <laughs>